Welcome to an EmpowerPL video tutorial. We're looking at Google Sheets and we're basically unpacking some basics. And uh, one of the things that a lot of people do with Google Sheets is to put in data and then be able to either uh, total um, uh, numbers or be able to create averages, like if you have a grade book, et cetera. So I'm gonna give you two examples here. Um, on my screen, you see an example of just some information where people have RSVP to an event, a school event, right? And so instead of me going through here and counting each person that is already indicated where we've marked them with a one, instead I'm gonna go back down to the very bottom of my sheet and then just basically uh, sum this up, right? So I go down to the bottom cell where I've already created a row called total. Uh, and I'm on cell D53 uh, here. That's going to uh, basically sum up all the fields that you see here with a one. So all the cells that have a one. OK, so I selected my cell. That's the first step. And then I'm going to basically just use the equal sign. And then if I happen to know the function, which in this case, if we're, if we're trying to sum everything that's listed on here, we would start typing in sum. And you'll notice that it gives me some suggested suggestions based on the kinds of data that I have um, on this particular row. So it's it's uh, smart enough to pick up on the fact that, hey, you probably either want to do an average of the data that's here or maybe some the data that's here. Um, you can, of course, start to type in that information yourself and customize it because maybe you just want to sum the first 10 uh, rows and not necessarily everything. But obviously, if what you're wanting is all of it, then you could certainly select the suggestion and it'll auto populate for you. Okay, so that's one way to certainly do it. The other way to do it, of course, is to type it in yourself. So we're going to say sum, open parentheses, and then I could come up here to the top and select from two, and then just holding down my shift key and using my arrow keys, I'm just pushing it all the way down until I get to the very last um, cell in this row that I want to include, which would be uh, 51. Obviously, you could also just type in uh, into the cell sum open parentheses D2 colon D51. And let's not forget that close parentheses, hit enter, and it should give you now the result. So that's nice because as soon as anybody else marks themselves as uh, RSVP and we change it to a one from a blank, it'll automatically calculate that number down there at the bottom for us. So that's how you do a sum. Last thing I wanna show you though, um, because maybe you're not trying to do a sum or you don't know um, that the command is SUM for sum um, and, uh, and the sheet isn't auto populating that suggestion for you. I just wanted to point out that up here uh, in your tools section of the sheet, you'll find that there is the uh, icon for functions. And if you click on that, you'll get a drop down menu with a different uh, uh, types of functions that you can use uh, to be able to calculate the data that you're trying to uh, come up with, right? So just wanted to point that out so you know where that's located. One more example that I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna switch over to my grade book here. Uh, perhaps now instead of doing a sum, I want to maybe do an average. Uh, perhaps my students are turning in assignments and I wanna see at an average, how is my class doing? And not necessarily looking at uh, individual scores, but as a uh, class average is what I'm looking for. So in row 18 there, I'm typing class average because that's what we wanna look at here. So for row 17, we're going to do some uh, class averages here. So once again, you go to the cell um, that is uh, located down there at the bottom that's going to average everything above it. And we're looking at column B, uh, entries from B2 all the way to B15. So once again, we use the equal sign. But in this, in this uh, example, we're going to average and not sum. So we're, we're going to type in the word average. And then open uh, parentheses there. And again, it is B2 colon B15 uh, close, close parentheses. So um, you can see there that all I've done there is just typed in the uh, formula to be able to have that cell auto calculate uh, all of the numbers that are within um, those particular cells. So B2 to B15. By putting the word average in front of it instead of sum, um, it's going to create an average out of all of those um, entries there. So I hit enter and it gives me the average. The really cool thing about this is that now we've done this uh, formula on column B. To apply it to column C, D, and so forth, all I actually have to do is copy 
that cell uh, information, because what you're copying is not the number 89.714, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What you're copying is the formula. And the uh, system knows that you're copying, when you copy that over and you paste it into column C, the system knows to change it automatically for you to C. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to manipulate that to be C2 through uh, perhaps D something else, then, um, uh, or actually this would have to go, average would have to go in rows, but um, you can manipulate the, the information if it doesn't actually match what you were uh, wanting to um, put on there. But, so this is really nice because I can keep pasting, pasting, pasting. Obviously there's no, um, there's no data there. Whoops, it just jumped all the way over. There's no data in those columns, hence why it gave me uh, an error message there. But once you start filling these in, with data, um, it'll start to give you um, the calculation. So that's how you do uh, an, an average um, of uh, information of data. But once again, you can come up here to the top, go to functions to find all of the other functions that you can use to be able to uh, calculate and do what you need to with your numbers.